One of the things on the guitar that's seen quite often and it's a habit that's quite hard to get out of when you are so used to it, it's when you see people picking very, very quietly. It's not necessarily a bad thing to me as a tutor. It's usually a sign of that they practice a lot when they're in the house and other people might be in bed or something like that. So it's not necessarily a bad sign. However, it is quite a hard thing to get out of when you are in the habit of it. The great thing about it is it works on your quieter dynamics, which come in really nice within your guitar playing lead and rhythm. However, you lose all of the hard and powerful dynamics within your playing. So what you want to be aware of is when you're playing, are you playing constantly quiet? Like even when you're in a position where you are able to strike the strings harder and louder. Getting the balance between those two dynamics is the difference between getting the feel of a guitar riff or lick and not getting the feel of it. Let me demonstrate this. Let's say for instance I'm so used to playing everything quiet and soft. What ends up happening is you end up gripping the pick very loosely and very soft that it's very flimsy. The pick can be as hard as you want it to be, as thick as you want, but it's very soft and flimsy. So I'm going to play like a little line now and I'm going to play it all soft. <laughs> Now, whilst that sounds beautiful and really nice, there will come times where you need to dig in harder. You need a harder sound. Those harder strikes give different characteristics, different feel to what you're playing. And when you can get the balance between playing soft and playing hard and aggressive, it will give, especially your improvising, I would say, a real leap ahead. Um, let's demonstrate, I'm gonna play with dynamics a bit now, so I'm gonna play with playing soft and playing hard. <laughs> See, now that little rundown on the end, that to me required to be more dug in and harder played on the dynamics. You get so much more of a different um, sound when you combine the two characteristics. It will really leapfrog your playing and you'll lose a lot of feel if you just stick into that playing quiet category. Something to keep an eye out for when you're playing the guitar is during the daytime when you're able to actually hit the strings louder, check to see if you are hitting them quietly. And if you are, just try and keep an eye out for it and try and be aware and try and purposely hit harder. Your brain will try diverting away from it because it will focus on whatever the riff or lick is that you're playing. But every now and then, just try and keep that running in the back of your mind and try and remind yourself, oh, hang on, let's check my right hand. Is it tickling the strings or is it hitting hard and practice both ways then try and work on playing the two together and just do it just doing a bit of random improvising it doesn't matter if you don't know any scales or anything just play with notes dynamics is one of the things that makes playing the guitar even more fun play with it enjoy it and in the meantime keep on rocking and i'll see you very soon